Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel that is Cosmic Energies by Kushbu. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing amazing. So welcome back. Today we're going to do a different sort of reading. These are three urgent messages that my dear Virgos you need to know about right at this moment. This is a, ti a timeless reading as you might have read it and yes. If you're watching this in January, February or any other month of this year, next year or whenever you come across this video, this video is definitely going to provide you with beautiful, beautiful guidances. And if these readings don't resonate with you, please check out your other placements. That is your sun, moon, rising sign and Venus sign. You are definitely going to find some good guidances there as well. So let's get started with this reading. Today we are going to use my favorite keepers of the light deck oracle deck and we are going to take three messages out of it after that we are going to clarify those messages with my tarot cards let's start with this reading let's see what Virgos need to know at this moment we have our first card beautiful Let's see what your second message is, Virgos. Okay, we have three cards, uh, but we are just going to take one out of it. And if the other two pop out again, we'll reconsider them. Okay, we have your second message. <clears throat> again, we have two cards. We are going to take the topmost one as your third message. Okay, so the first message that you have, Virgos, is Kuan Yin, care and compassion, choose to be love, do what is right for everyone involved, offer a helping hand. Look at this beautiful image. So here, the message for you is absolutely clear that Virgos, you need to show some care and compassion to the people around you and to you yourself. You need to work with love and <clears throat> remember that when you choose love, you choose the highest form of frequency that is present in this world. Well, once you start working with love about uh, in any situation, once you start showing compassion to people, it will come back to you in ten folds. So, uh, please, please choose love wherever possible. If it is not possible for you right now to choose love at the moment, choose care and compassion instead. You. There might be certain situations in life right now, uh, Virgos, that you think are not uh, solvable or you don't find any solutions with it. You might uh, not be in good terms with people involved in those situations. But this at this moment, it is not right to, you know, cut them off. It is better if you show them some care, some compassion and some love. And with that mostly all of your situations or the difficulties that you're facing will be resolved that is a clear message for you Virgos let's see let's clarify it and get a deeper meaning we have the devil the knight of swords the hierophant and the chariot that clarify your message Here I'm getting in the message, Virgos, that right now it is not the time to let your uh, anger, let your uh, aggressive nature take over yourself. This is not the time to let your thoughts go haywire and making them the priority rather than what your heart wants. It is the time to commit to yourself. It is the time to show compassion in such a manner that people understand what really you want from them. Sometimes work goes, we work uh, with uh, particular intentions, but people involved in our life don't really know what those intentions are. And that time things become really blurry. So here, the message that I'm getting is you need to let go of your aggression. You need to let go of your 
grudges with that particular individual and stop overthinking stop overthinking about that situation you have to be careful about where your thoughts are taking you you need to be careful about not what do you say dig up it for yourself and then jump into it that is the whole real you know image that i got in my mind you need to be sure uh, about what battles you want to fight at the moment and once you know your priorities stick to those priorities and commit to those priorities and you are going to get the love the respect the care and compassion that you show it is going to be reciprocated to you in a beautiful manner so please remember that choosing love is more important than displaying your anger and some of you might uh, right now be suffering from certain addictions those addictions can be anything anything at all it can be overeating it can be smoking it can be drinking it can be any of those things so right now you need to make a choice of making love care and compassion as your addiction rather than the already existing addictions that is a clear message for you that is the first message for you virgos let's see what else your second message says archangel michael trusting heaven you're safe angels stand close surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur such a beautiful card such a beautiful card let's also clarify it so that we can understand the deeper meaning to it we have too many cards too many cards okay we have the queen of wands the two of pentacles and the world let me have a look So Archangel Michael here is trying to tell you that you have to trust in your universe. You have to trust in any of the entity that you believe in right now. That is God, angel or even the universe if you are right now believing in them. Because uh, you might be looking at a situation where there are too many choices to make in your life. Virgos, uh, some situations if you... Uh, make the choice of choosing that situation or that option it might be really difficult for you to see the ends of it and the other situations might be difficult in the start but if uh, once you make a choice of choosing that option things will uh, start getting easier once you start walking that path and for giving you the insight the heaven is with you the universe is always working in your favor right now virgo the universe is trying to remind you that you have to start trusting your universe you have to start trusting in the divine that whatever is necessary for you in this moment whatever is necessary for you will always be taught to you and always being shown to you and right now you're in a position where you are sitting quietly but looking at your empire and trying to make the decisions these decisions are really really important these are major decisions of your life that has the capacity to make your life you know or change your life completely and you are currently biased about whether to take this decision or not to take this decision you're confused whether to wait or you know just go with the flow so i would suggest virgos and even your spirit guides are trying to tell you that you have to surrender to the universe and believe that whatever uh, choice you need to make will present itself to you with a uh, certain you know omens or signs or uh, synchronicities that you need to understand and you will be definitely understand and these the choice once you leave it to the universe you will you will have to have faith 
in that choice that is the message that i got and it is going to be uh, proving to be a really beautiful thing for you once you do that and this choice that will be presented to you will complete you that is the message i got okay this is something that you always thought was missing out of your life but due to many options in front of you you are not able to you know see it clearly but once you surrender the things to universe universe is going to clear the clutter it is going to lift up the fog in front of you and it is going to bring this choice in front of you and then you will understand yes this is the person situation or even that i had to choose in the moment and that is someone who is going to bring happiness to me who is going to fulfill my life in a better way beautiful let's see what is your third message virgos the third message for you is master jesus forgiveness you are on the path of light love and forgiveness father healing is possible at this time beautiful card let's also clarify this let's clarify this and get a clear understanding what is master jesus card talking about okay master jesus card is clarified with the page of pentacles the king of cups and the ten of pentacles interesting ah uh, virgos if you had uh, any difficulties in your life because you thought it is the responsibility or it was because of the way your father has brought you up or because of the ancestors that you have had and the way they have been living has been totally different than what is expected of you right now their upbringing their dna runs in you and somewhere you think you are like this because of them and um, you always you always felt a little different you wanted to be a little different but but because of the surroundings and the way you have been brought up unknowingly you adapted their you know tendencies you adapted uh, their rules rituals and that is that is really um, the most common thing like whatever your surrounding is since your birth is always going to direct how you become in the future but you have a choice to make you uh, you can be really unhappy with what you are right now or you might be a little agitated in the way you are uh, the way you have been brought up you might have certain issues with your family uh, with your family or your father but right now uh, there is a beautiful time opening up where you can make a commitment of opening up to your fa father especially your father figures in the family and you know talk out with them about the things i think you think there are many things that have been wrong in your family the way you have connected in the past but it has left certain wounds and you weren't uh, unable to open about be open about it with your parents especially father and th that has caused a rift in your family or between you and your dad many unspoken words or actions can affect us in different ways and sometimes we cannot express ourselves and if this is something that you cannot talk to them because they are physically not in this world right now so i would suggest that you have to connect with them somehow you can connect with them by visiting your ancestral home or connect with them in the astral realm or start meditating and try and connect to them energetically and work it out with them so that you finally let go of that burden you finally let go of that uh feeling of something not you know being right in your life because 
you have a choice for go you always have a choice you choose to forgive or you choose to hold grudges and your first message is in relation with this message it says choose care and compassion and yes that will help you to forgive someone who has caused you a childhood wound your childhood ha- might have been a lot more different if that incident or that thing wouldn't have happened with you and right now is a good time for you to confront them or go and talk to them explain them your side and choose to resolve this issue between you forever because that is that is the one thing that is blocking your heart chakra right now that is one thing that is blocking you from connecting with other individuals and forming healthy relationships with them uh committing with other individuals on the level that the other human needs commitment with you because there is this uh, wound that has been ignored for a long time which has never you know uh, gotten healed or it even if it is healed it is not properly healed so there 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 are many unresolved emotions that are still stored in you and that is causing your heart as well as your throat chakra to be blocked and once you forgive that individual after talking to them explaining to them especially forgiveness is not for other individuals but it is for you once you forgive someone there is no emotion there is nothing holding them or they are not holding you in the power anymore you they have no power over you once you forgive them you can move on and you can finally connect with individuals who are there for you with whom you couldn't form any connection and finally you can have a happy family that you have been always dreaming of but right now that is not possible for you because somewhere there is that lack of compassion lack of understanding other person's emotion on the same level that they are feeling and that is because you have an unresolved father or uh, uh, father and your relationships that has been unresolved or certain childhood traumas that are still you know unresolved so master jesus is telling you that yes you need to you utilize your forgiving power right now and that will help you heal all of the wounds that you have in your life and yes it is possible right now if you were looking for a sign to go and connect with your uh, father or go and confront with your father this is your sign you need to go and resolve the things between you and that will clear out your heart and your throat chakra and that will help you manifest the dream that you'd always been wanting to have a loving caring uh, equal and beautiful relationship with an individual so this is the end of your reading if you liked my reading please hit that like button subscribe to my channel and also hit on the bell icon i am providing you with my instagram link in the description box you can go and follow me there and for personal readings you can always dm me on my instagram thank you bye bye